Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so um, this week, since we're right in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I thought I'd go ahead and do some looks with some of the palettes that I most recently got um, and try to go ahead and do some of the other looks with the palette. You know, um, usually there's a theme or a color story going on and you want to go ahead and do a look with as many shades as you can when you're first um, playing with the palette. And then if it's a good palette, it has all sorts of different looks that don't necessarily um, reflect the overall tone. And so they don't necessarily end up um, getting filmed. And so I thought with uh, this particular week that I would go ahead and do some of that. And so I guess we should go ahead and get started with uh, what I did today. So I started with the Supergoop uh, Glow Oil. This is shade, or sorry, it doesn't have shade, it's clear, <laughs> doesn't it? It's SPF 50. And this I am only using on my face and it's going to last me about a year. So if you're looking at finding something like this, they do have um, the little ones, the smaller ones that you can get that I think run about $15. This one runs about 38 But if you're looking for a good face SPF, you might want to get one of the smaller ones. And if it works, then you can get a larger one and it's a really good value. Um, and anyway, I would definitely go ahead and recommend this, especially um, for some of the older group. Um, just being an oil in general, it gives you a little bit more moisture. And so I do skin prep where I'm putting a moisturizer on as well. But um, even if you have, uh, even with oily skin, you could wear this. It would give you a little bit of moisture right under your makeup. Or if you're older and um, you don't have as much moisture in your skin, this definitely add some moisture in so really good product that I know I that I show a lot but I don't necessarily talk about a lot so yeah really good one right there and um, let's see what else did I do so I did go ahead and do the house laps and I have my shade in fair cool 50 and um, yeah I'm starting to get down there I'm like right there now so, but again, another foundation that I recommend a lot. And um, as far as what else I have on, with the cheeks, I went ahead and used the Made by Mitchell Curve Case. And um, this is what it looks like. It has uh, bronzers, contours, and blushes. So I did go ahead and use this as... Um, uh, let's see is my uh, bronzer today and then I did go ahead and use these two um, so this shade and this shade I mix them together for the blush and I do have those on today as well and liquid blushes or pardon me um, cream blushes as you get older are supposed to be pretty flattering so there's another thought there. I did go ahead and put a powder blush over the top, the ColourPop uh, Let's Dance, and this really pretty coral. And so it went really well with the look. And then as far as the highlighter, I used the Revlon Skin Lights. This is a 201 in Daybreak, and so that's what I have on as a highlighter today. And um, it's a really pretty one as well. And you can tell if I really like a product because I will break all the packaging. And uh, yeah, so really like this product as well. And then as far as what I did for concealer, the incognito here. Oh, I did put a little bit of the, um, let's see, e.l.f. Halo Glow. And this is the Rose Use Late. So I have a little bit of this, this and the curve case on so yeah I did a whole bunch of stuff to the cheeks today um, and the highlighter as well so lots of cheek stuff today and um, oh I knew I'd forgotten something I did use the glow serum primer by hard candy as well and this is um, 
it definitely gives you some more gloves. So not all of this is the house labs, but um, these two, yeah, are what I have on today. So um, I did go ahead and do a mainly gold look, and uh, I did go ahead and pick up another palette from Odin's Eye, and uh, this is the Jewels and Gems. It's been out for about six months. And so I've done a couple of looks, um, cool tone looks with the purples and the blues and everything. But today I went ahead and started with this in my crease. And then I did this one on the lid. I did uh, this one actually uh, right on the brow bone. And then what else did I did? I put a little bit of this on the lid as well. This is actually a really gorgeous duochrome. It looks like it's just going to be an inner corner highlight, but this one looks pretty um, light in the pan. It goes gold, pink, and an orangey bronze. So I put that on the inner corner, and I put a little bit of it on the lid as well. And then I finished off with an Emirate, um gel eyeliner in brown as far as finishing the look. And where did that go to? I'm not sure where that one ran off to. Um, but the way, excuse me, that the look ended up was sort of like this. So it's really, really sparkly, and it really went gold. Um, really pretty look, and definitely something a little bit different that you wouldn't necessarily think of when you first looked at the palette. But, you know, that's the fun thing with a really good palette is that you can do a whole bunch of different looks with it, right? So, um, this one is looking very holographic to me. And um, just to let you know that um, this one definitely is um, a duochrome. This one is multi-chrome. Uh, this one is a duochrome as well. Uh, this one... Um, it may have a little bit of green in it, but it's pretty much a gold. So when I look at this um, look, I'm seeing a whole bunch of shifty shades that are going gold, but they're going a little bit green, um, and then a little bit bronzy as well. So um, it has a lot of interest to it, and it's something that you wouldn't just look at and go, oh, gold eyeshadow yeah you would look at it and go oh yeah that shifts a little bit and that shifts a little bit so it's kind of fun and um i definitely would recommend this palette um it's over on the odin's eye website you can get that over there the curve case um by made by mitchell you can get on the beauty bay website um that's usually uh, the Beauty Bay and the Made by Mitchell are both based in the UK, and he apparently sells most of his products on Beauty Bay from what I've been able to see. I did go ahead and use the Glowish as far as the setting powder as well. And um, let's see, uh, the Essence Thick and Well Fixing Brow Mascara in Caramel Blonde. So that's what I have on my brows. And then I do have the Fanfist by Benefit and the Sky High uh, by Maybelline as far as the mascaras that I have on today. Oh, and I do have a new favorite. Um, I did need to go ahead and replace my 4th Ray Glisten Up uh, spray and um, they don't have it on ColourPop right now, so I'm hoping that they bring it back. But in the meantime, I picked up the Hard Candy uh, Glow Setting Spray, the 12-hour one, and so I have that on as well. And on the lips, I did go ahead and use the ColourPop uh, Just a Tint. And this one is in a go, go and so I think that's just about everything that I have on. Again, it's fun to go ahead and see the other looks that palettes like this have because, you know, we when you get a palette like this, you think cool colors, cool colors, cool colors, and then all of a sudden you find a look in it that, you know, has some, has some warmth to it. So uh, really enjoying this palette as well. 
And um, I think that that's probably the whole video. I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.